when Grace came home and just saying, Mom and Dad, I quit. Huh? Counsel kids and family for all this year. Immediately I say, so what do you want to do? Oh, I want to, I want to farm. Farm? Considering she was only, I don't even know if it was a month or two prior, on Wall Street wearing power suits and all of a sudden it's, I'd love to farm. Um, it was a pretty, I don't know if shocked is the right, right word. Um, I didn't think it would be such a 180. My oldest brother, Liren, he dabbled in the flower trade for a little bit and made a lot of connections in his years. He steered us in that direction. Once I started farming and knew that I wanted to do farming full time, even though more of my experience is in vegetables, my business side of me was like, I don't know, I'll probably just go where we can gain traction right away. There is no one growing flowers. Prior to uh, getting duped into uh, launching a farm with Grace, I was actually working for Habitat for Humanity. I went down to New Orleans. This was right after Katrina. Uh, we were building houses for some of those awesome Katrina families down there. I'm a practice psychologist. Uh, in fact, I'm a marriage and family therapist. At one point, I was uh, the state's uh, director for refugee resettlement for the whole Massachusetts. That was what I, what I did uh, prior to so-called retirement. Organic flour, particularly locally grown flour, the movement is just started but it did not get here yet to Massachusetts. It started in Northwest. After we, after Grace kind of presented the idea to the family and we had one of our powwows and finally got a chance to really think about it seriously, it was more like, okay, can this actually work out? Kind of started to all make sense. I did not know that she already prepared this for herself for a long time. Grace was always the first one out back with my mom in the garden. Back in mom's backyard when we would just play soccer and basically crush her plants and she would be so heartbroken and we'd do our best to tape the plants back together and hope she doesn't notice that we broke them. That's where we started though in my mom's backyard with, I don't know, maybe five 30-foot beds. Um, and from there, we've sort of grown it. We started with one customer. He's, they're still a customer to this day when we brought, I would bring uh, two, two little buckets of flowers on a weekly basis. We knew we needed more land because then other people came calling and I mean, when you're growing on one sixteenth of an acre in your mom's suburban backyard, there's only so many flowers you can grow. 